So welcome back to the channel. It's week 10. Oh, we hit double digits. It's about 9, a little after 9.20. I had the meeting at 10 o'clock. Drive's about 20, 25 minutes away, so I'm leaving a little bit early to make sure I don't have traffic and whatnot. Packing up my bag. Yeah, I don't know a lot about the company. I don't know a lot about the industry, so I'm kind of going in there blind. Hopefully it's a good fit. But I'm packing up like gym clothes because I might just go straight from the meeting to the gym because it's kind of on the way-ish. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. got done with that meeting literally ran for like three hours jesus christ um well well though i definitely have a better understanding for what he the business actually does uh, long story short we are um i'm getting access to his facebook page we're going to be running a test for 30 days to try to drive more customers into the store and then from there i'm going to send him over kind of a proposal for proceeding after the 30 days prices and things like that and how much i recommend he budgets into the advertising but nothing else it's a trial for me it's more practice and experience doing it in in the real world Okay, so I just got an email back from the hat supplier and they sent up the first mock-ups. They are definitely not finalized. I mean, it's pretty cool just to see them on screen. It, completely my fault, I told them, I forgot to tell them to take the BDGE off. I don't want that on the hat. I just want the logo by itself. They let you do a minimum order quantity of 48 and you could split them into four different colors. So I wanted to do the hat, like a uh, tan khaki, uh, a light pink, a light blue, and an all black so it's like the dad hat i also uh, along with taking out the bdge i want the logo to be a lot smaller uh, so it's kind of like this polo hat where it's like really small kind of just like sitting there in the middle that's how i want this to be on the front there so i'm gonna have to go back and revise them these are sweet because i'm paying extra uh per hat i'm gonna have it's a leather strap with a buckle on it rather than like the velcro or, or different kind of shitty snap back on it so it's kind of like this this is kind of how i envisioned it the leather strap with the buckle and this is a leather strap it's got like a golden kind of buckle thing on it so it's not exactly the same but it's pretty cool i'm just looking at the colors i'm gonna change that blue that's a little too dark i think i want to go more lightish i like the colors that i picked though so far i want to have like a good variety of colors that i can offer you guys and offer to everyone who you know some people like the pink some of the girls like the pink i like the pink i don't know but I, I'm excited how they look originally. Definitely need to mock up some more and kind of perfect them before I actually throw money at these and invest into them. So hopefully they'll have those with the revisions done and back to me by like early next week. So morning guys, morning guys. It's May 20th. It's around 7.30 a.m. Got my Dunkin'. It's like free perks week or some shit at Dunkin', like the app. Somehow yesterday I ordered a coffee through like the on the go ordering. I don't know if there's a glitch in the system or something, but I ended up with three free coffees on my app. Literally Titty, titty shout out Duncan and I'm up early because I have a call with a client today or a possible client hopefully and they basically do women's active wear so like it's like a fashionable company that does women's clothing it's e-commerce for fitness or fashion and style and stuff I'll show you some of the stuff and I'm pretty excited about it because they have like a good listing of product like they have a lot of good products that I feel like would run really well on Facebook and I think I could do a good job on this campaign so I'm excited to get on the phone there. I'm just doing basic research on the website now. They have the Facebook pixel already on the website, which tells me one of two things. It tells me either the owner put the pixel on the website and they tried running Facebook ads or they had another marketer. And either one, it obviously didn't work out if they're looking for a new marketer. So what I wanna do is go through the website and kind of figure out maybe why it wasn't working. I'm kind of falling in love with the e-commerce niche itself. Yesterday I left my lap, my backpack in the meeting I was at in the morning. So I left my laptop there, so I'm like using. I'm really happy with how the summer's going so far in terms of the business because 
I'm moving on a lot of different parts. It's a lot of shit going on, but I think it's going well. And another thing, basically, I was supposed to go to uh, this, you know, it's called Pier 13 in Hoboken for a friend's birthday. And it was like, a lot of my friends are going, we're going to celebrate. It's like food trucks, alcohol trucks, if that's what you call them. So it's just like a really good time, a good day spot to, to hang out, you know, like just chill with your friends. And I was looking forward to it. And then companies was like, can we, can we talk at like 132 today on Saturday? I'm like, yeah, of course. Um, it sucks because we were going to go to Pier 13, leave at like noon, come back at 5-ish. So I have to, I, so I can't go to that. And uh, I guess the whole point of me talking about this is, is just, um, you know, it, it's what I signed up for when I, when I signed up for this. It's like these kind of, you know, you hear it in super cliche, like you got to make sacrifices when your friends are out partying and all that shit, but it's like real life, you know, it, it's it, when you're trying to build something up like this, you have to make sure you have your priorities right because, you know, you make these, these daily decisions, it, it could have been just as easy for me to, you know, hit them back and say, listen, I really can't make it Saturday. I can't talk to you Saturday. Can we please your schedule for next week? Originally, I, I said, is next week okay? And they said, I'd really rather talk this weekend. Um, and I could have said, listen, I'm, I'm out of town this weekend or something, but like that, that's a minor decision you can make that could lead to them talking to someone else and then, and someone else hooking them on as a client. Right. So it's these little daily decisions, these little daily sacrifices that over the long run will probably add up. And that kind of goes for anything. These little daily decisions, these little daily habits that you, that, that you constantly make. And if you make the decisions that are going in the direction of, of like your vision or your idea, they add up over time and, and it will, you know, it will show itself in time. I just, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of keep it real and just like tell you that like it sucks. Like I'm pretty upset that I have to, uh, that I can't go to this today. I'm going to have some serious FOMO and that's not something I usually have, but I was looking forward to going and now my plans got derailed. I just want to make sure that at least it was worth it that my plans were derailed. Now I better get my shit together and fucking lock this shit down. It's 1.30, wish me luck. I'll wait till 1.31, cause I don't want to sound weird. Hey, Jordan. How you doing, Nick? More expensive, say like purchases $100 and over, uh, a large majority of them come from desktop. Okay. So let's see, uh, conversions. Holy shit balls. Oh man, I'm like filled with adrenaline right now. Okay, so the call I just got off of, but this company has an enormous Facebook budget. I don't want to get into numbers, but I'll put it this way. If I start working with them, I don't know if I'm even going to need to sign another client in order to financial purposes. This could be like the biggest client that I have. I have to send them over a proposal. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm still nervous from that call because that that was this is like such a good opportunity for me and it's exactly why i'm going back because had i skipped this call and gone out i would have missed out on this opportunity literally can propel this to the next stage this is like an itchy place on youtube that i'm not sure i can't really discuss what i talk about numbers and clients and things like that i guess so i kind of have to be careful with that but this is um Oh man. What up YouTube fam? It's Sunday morning, May 21st. Beautiful day out here in New Jersey. Making some uh, Facebook advertisement optimizations to start the morning. Get some work done. It's about 75 and sunny out today. So I figure what better way to enjoy the day than by not leaving my house and just ordering Chinese food. Oh! On the real though, this will probably be like the only thing I eat today. This is a shit ton of calories. It's sesame chicken, pork fried rice, steamed dumplings. If you're looking to like cut back on calories when you're eating Chinese, the move first of all is obviously going like chicken and broccoli because that's the healthiest thing you could probably get. White rice over fried rice, of course. We eat fried rice on the Lord's Day. I usually get the fried dumplings, but I'm already gonna be eating a shitload of fat from this. So I would say the sesame chicken and fried rice is probably like 900 calories, maybe a thousand for that whole thing. There's like eight steamed dumplings. There's probably like a hundred cows a piece. So the whole meal is probably like 1,800 calories. It's an aggressive number of calories to eat in one sitting. And I'm gonna do it, because I ain't no little bit. Another little hack is, instead of getting like an egg roll that usually comes with these meals, well that's for a Diet Coke instead of an egg roll. They don't charge you extra or anything like that. But it saves you like three or 400 calories. I'm gonna enjoy this meal. I don't really know what I'm even gonna be doing. I'll talk to y'all later. Hope y'all had a fantastic weekend. All right, so it's May 22nd, it's Monday morning, and I got the new revisions back on the hats. Well, they look a lot better at least without the 
the writing on them. I think they look good. I realize I want them unstructured instead of structured. So like the dad hats, these are, see how they're like floppy and stuff on the top? Those are unstructured. I need to get those changed. I didn't realize the difference between the two. And I also realized, which is super unfortunate, that this company puts their logo, let's focus, like this little thing right here on the side of all their fudging hats. I'm like, dude, I don't want that on my hat. And they're like, yeah, come standard with all of our hats. I asked them to send me a couple of examples of what that looks like, but that's probably gonna be a break for me. I'm probably gonna not order the hats from this website because I don't want that shit on my hat, which is annoying because I'll have to go through a different supplier. What a shame. So a very quick update. It was only like an hour ago that I did the last clip. The lady I'm working with is awesome, very responsive. They were able to take their little symbol off, which is great. And then they made the cap unstructured instead of structured. So they look good. I think I'm ready to roll. I think I'm ready to purchase this. And I think the turnaround time is about a month, somewhere between three to six weeks. She said it's usually around a month or so. Uh, so these will be in probably the end of June. Well, I think once I get them, I'll have to, I need to get pictures, good pictures I had to put on the website. I don't know if I'm gonna do like any kind of modeling with it. Maybe I'll get some of my friends to, to wear it and take pics of them. And then I can put them up and I have to see the whole purchase process and see payments and things like that. So there's gonna be a little more. I would I would say if I had to guesstimate, if my card comes in, if the credit card comes in this week within the next like two or three days and I order them now, get them the end of June-ish, get everything ready. I would say they'll be available for order beginning of July. So maybe the first week of July. Total guesstimate, but that's w where I would say right now. So I'm excited about that, it's pretty cool. And get a live view from what my bed looks like where i spend a lot of time a couple exciting things the hats are officially ordered the four different colors and then i had a um a company reach out to me a denim company and they kind of want to i guess sponsor one or two of my videos which is cool and it's cool by me because i love denim the thing with this is like i had that protein company reach out to me and they they sent me the two things of protein to review with this company um they're they're not paying me anything. They're just gonna send me products because you know you usually don't get paid for these kind of sponsorships until you have like a, a decent number of following. What they want me to do is basically give them exposure via like YouTube, which is fine. I could do a review on their jeans, but then they also want two or three sponsored posts on Instagram and Twitter. Now that's like where I'm not sure if I want to do this or not because. Because one, I don't know if I'm going to like the products. I don't want to be putting up Instagram pictures of me wearing their clothes if I don't even like the clothes. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I mean, I like what the, what I saw on the website, but if like something doesn't fit or if I just like don't end up liking the company, I don't want to, um, I don't want to say yes, then send me the product. No, nah, I'm not doing it, you know? So I got to think about this one. It's like kind of like selling your soul if it's something you don't like. But it's not really because I guess like jeans and, and this kind of like style fashion fit into my channel. So just little updates on those things. Otherwise, all, all cools on the home front. Morning, y'all. 10.30 a.m., May 23rd, Tuesday. Uh, right now, I'm just wrapping up the blog post. I cannot wait to finish all these fantasy team outlooks. I'm like 18 down, or 19 maybe now. Gotta do 32, and then I'm just gonna fire off a video like every day. I'm gonna go to the gym in about an hour, so I'm eating a little something. Just had an apple, some Greek yogurt. You have this, if you haven't tried, Dan, Greek yogurt, the light and fit, it's so good. And nutrition wise, it's like the best bang for your buck. They come in like the little cups to like normal size and they're literally, it's like 12 grams of protein and eight carbs. Or you can get this big boy. This whole thing is, this thing's big. This is my size of my whole hand. It's like five, it would be like 500 calories for the entire thing. And you're getting like 75 grams of protein in here. No fat. I don't think I'll mind, but this shit tastes exactly like Domino's icing for their like cine sticks. Vanilla is dope. There's another flavor. Salted caramel is really good. Caramel apple pie. But honestly, they're all really good. I don't know what they do. They probably just put like 17 packets of Splenda in them. Try these out if you haven't. It's almost like you're eating an entire pint of like ice cream. We ain't really gotta feel bad about it. I think I'm gonna film some of the workout. Chest day. Chest day is the best day. Oh, it's Tuesday, so that means it's Titty Tuesday too. All the stars are aligning. Oh, this weekend, since it's Memorial Day weekend, me and my friends got a house down the shore. If you're not from Jersey, you don't really understand that, but yo, we go on DTS, AKA down the shore for Memorial Day weekend. It's gonna be popping down there. The vibes are always so good because everyone's just there to have a good time and party for the entire weekend. 
So we got a house, we rented it between, I think there's like eight or nine of us. We're probably gonna try to get more, so the price goes down a little bit. But since I released this on Saturday, if you watch it, that means I'm there right now. I'm probably on the beach, about 13 marks deep. So the weekend's gonna be epic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to film as much as I can during the weekend and kind of put that into next week's vlog because that should be a ton of fun. It's gonna be a good weekend bender. Haven't done one of these bad boys in a while, which means this week I really gotta buckle down. Like I need to have, if I'm going down, I think I'm going down Friday to Sunday. We check out Sunday of the house. And then I'm sure we're gonna come back here and just barbecue all day Sunday and then I guess recover Monday. No, my friends are definitely gonna be like, let's go, one more barbecue Monday. And I'm like, shit. I don't have to do it, obviously. That means this week I really gotta get my shit together because I gotta have everything done by Thursday night. So I actually have to edit this video. Like I'll finish the video, edit it, and schedule it to be posted on Saturday by Thursday night. Still waiting to hear back from that proposal on the apparel company. We're gonna cut to some workout footage now. So I'm gonna do a little walk through my workout today. Uh, it was a chest day, as already mentioned in the Titty Tuesday shout out. Started off with bench press. I've been doing a lot more flat bench press, uh, just cause, I don't know, I've been trying to get my strength up on this. Um, so I'd be doing a weight that I could do like six to eight times. And you know, you wanna do, if you're trying to increase your strength on these big lifts, anything like squats, deadlifts, bench press, like the, the big compound movements, you wanna keep the reps to a much lower degree. So anywhere from like three, four, five, even six reps is gonna get your strength up. Each week you'll see like steady improvements of like two and a half to five pound strength lifts, um, increases. So I was doing, I think it was a 45, a 25 and a five, which is like, well, Jesus Christ, too early to do. 195 pounds, <clears throat> which obviously isn't a lot for, for a lot of people that lift probably, but keep in mind I'm only 160 pounds. So that's a little more than my body weight. So I'm fine with that. And again, I kept the reps low. Um, I did like three or four warm up sets, and then I probably, this is my last set here, that's why I'm kind of struggling a little bit. But I probably did four warm up sets, and then, uh, yeah, you see that shadow on the screen for all y'all. Um, and then I probably did, I think, three or four working sets of that weight. And then I moved on to what has become like my favorite, 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 favorite chest exercise as of late. Now, if you're trying to grow your your uh, your upper chest here, which is a, a struggle for a lot of people, and honestly, you you, you kind of look like shit with your shirt off if you don't have a good upper chest because it's like flat from the side. What you want to do is go on one of these hammer strength machines, right? They definitely have one at your gym, and you want to sit sideways. So instead of sitting straight where you're pushing both sides, you want to come on it and go sideways so that the bar is this way. So when you're pushing, and then when you're pushing it out, keep your hand on your upper chest, right? You're keeping your hand there, so when you're going that way, you're squeezing and you could really feel the muscle squeeze. So you're getting a ridiculous contraction there and you're really, really working that muscle. I swear, this will be the best contraction that you get on your upper chest that that you've probably ever had. I just started doing this like two or three weeks ago and I could see like the, the uh, striations like coming in my upper chest a lot more. Now with this, with this exercise, you don't wanna start doing a lot of weight. The key here is really, keeping it at a weight that you can control and really squeeze that upper chest when you're doing it. Now I'd probably do, it was like 35 pounds on each side there. Um, I mean, I could do 45, I could do probably 55, something like that, but I just wanted to really open up the muscle there. Um, I think I did maybe three or four sets. It's after a while, to be honest with you, you're like squeezing and it almost feels like your chest is gonna pop off. So I, I, I don't do that many sets of it. But I swear, if you haven't tried this and you're trying to work on your incline chest a little bit, try this. Sit on the hammer strength machine, go sideways, push out, and make sure you're feeling the squeeze in your upper chest when you're doing it. It's so good. Um, towards the end of the workout, I just started doing uh, dips and push-ups, which you'll see in the next clip, I think. I like doing the dips uh, kind of as, like a, as, a, as a workout ender, I guess you could say. The more you keep your elbows out, the more you'll hit your chest. So, you know, when you're coming down, it, I, when I'm doing it, it feels like my elbows are really far out, but I guess it doesn't look like that much on camera. But when your elbows are out, you're hitting the chest more, you wanna lean forward a little bit. If your elbows are in, you're gonna be working your front shoulders a lot and it's gonna start aggravating them most likely. And you're hitting a lot more triceps when you do it that way. So you wanna lean forward a little bit, keep your elbows out to get a really good squeeze in the chest. And then I moved over to what push-ups, yeah. So I've said this before in my fitness videos that like body weight movements are some of my favorite, favorite, favorite exercises. 
because one, they kind of also act as a cardio movement, like you're super tired from them, but they're also working your muscles. You can get a real good superset between the two. And, um, you know, it, it works your core, it works your, your, your balance, your mobility, like all that kind of stuff is, is wrapped into doing body weight movements. So, you know, as you can see, like I don't do a crazy amount of volume when I do it. I do a chest workout that involves maybe four to five different exercises, not a crazy amount of sets. And I do that because this set's fucking crazy. I don't know why I did this shit. I just saw the ball and I was like, Where, let me try it out. But as you can see, my muscles is popping off, so it worked out pretty well. This one killed my core, got me so fucking tired. Um, but I, yeah, I don't do crazy volume because I like to hit my chest and my shoulders and stuff. And then in like three days, I'll be doing it again. So I'll do like a chest, which is my push day, then my back pull day, and then my legs. And I'll just do that on, on cycle. It was good. Just got done with the workout. I used to do a lot more like actual fitness videos, you know, just like informational or just workouts or something like that. But I figured I'd just throw them into the vlog because that's like just kind of following my life. Uh, if you, if you want to see more videos like that, if you want to see videos like that by themselves, me like filming my workouts more with more like information, voiceovers or whatever, just raw clips of me working out, let me know because, you know, I feel like that stuff gets kind of repetitive, but I guess I have different information and new workouts that I can throw in there for, our, for different ideas and different people. So I'm still out of breath. This is like 60 seconds after that last set of push-ups I did with the fucking ball. That shit will kill you, man. I got to get my cardio up. Should also mention I did like 30 minutes of cardio before that workout. Incline walked and then I did a few like, not sprints incline, but I'll do like speed of like seven, seven and a half, eight with the incline at like four. So it's not sprinting, but it gets your heart rate up just as much because you're on the incline. So that's why I'm so out of breath, whatever. Stopped in the mall by my gym. I'm sweating like disgustingly, if you could see that. So everyone's like staring at me. I'm gonna go. So I didn't get anything at the mall, but I stopped at the Marshalls in my town afterwards. Picked up a little short sleeve button down for MD Dub weekend. Emphasis on the dub. Pretty plain, navy blue with uh, pink polka dots. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, buddy. So I got this for, it was literally $12.99 at Marshalls. A steal if you got a Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They're the best for short sleeve button downs. I'm telling y'all. Pretty excited about the purchase. Looks good, fits good. You look good, you feel good. You feel good, you play good. If you play good, you win. So I was literally just about to walk out the door and leave for the gym. It's like 10 a.m. or 9.30 a.m. on May 24th, I believe. And there's a package outside my door. And it happened to be this pre-workout. So this dude I follow on YouTube, his name's Omar Isaf, big fitness YouTuber, he's awesome. Go check out his channel, I'll link it below. He created his own pre-workout and they just started producing it and selling it. And I, you know, I bought a, a tub of it and they were on huge back order because he has a huge following. So I didn't expect to get it for another month or two, to be honest with you. But it just so happened, the second I was walking out my door to go to uh, to work out, I was actually gonna stop at Stop and Shop, grab a Monster too, because I haven't had any caffeine today, which is surprising by how fast I'm talking, but I'm really excited to try this. So I'll try it out and I'll definitely let you guys know how it is though. May 25th, May 25th, it's Thursday morning. I'm getting on the call with the second women's apparel retail company in about five minutes, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. Okay, so call's done, shirt's off, it went well. So they had someone that was working for them already that was performing really poorly, bad communication shit, so they wanna switch to someone else. Their concern is that they they want to get shit up and running like ASAP. And I told them that like when I onboard a client, it's like a process, because you have to go through a lot of things. It's like contract proposals, setting up the pixels, setting up all these different things. And they're like, oh, let's get it done today because it's Mother's Day, or Mother's Day already passed. I don't know why they said that. I didn't, I didn't even catch that when I was talking to them. But they wanted to get it up like this weekend. I'm like, first of all, first of all, it takes a few days for this stuff to work. You have to talk to your partner, so that's more back and forth. And then I'm away this weekend, so I can't get it up today. They wanted something like really simply done, so I just sent them over instructions. So hopefully that helped them a lot. And they're definitely interested, um, but I'll have to wait to hear back from them. I do think it was, it definitely went well though. So that's a good end, I think, to this video. Now yesterday, I talked about the pre-workout I got, and I did a review. So if you wanna see the review of the pre-workout, I'll link it here or here, I'm not sure where it pops up. And I was talking about how it kinda tasted funky. It's got a weird taste, but it's the goat when you mix a monster with it. Oh my. You gotta try that shit out. But unless something happens between now and, uh, what time is it? It's like one o'clock. So unless something happens between now and like tonight, 
that's gonna end this video here because I'm going away for the weekend for Memorial Day weekend down the shore. We still don't know our housing situation. It was ridiculous. We had like four houses lined up, six hotels. Right now I could be staying anywhere from like a mansion in this side of the shore to a shitty motel on this side of the shore. So I have no idea what we're doing yet. I just know my ass needs to be on the beach on Saturday with about 17 margs in my stomach. I'm looking forward to this weekend. I'll try to capture some footage for y'all. It's gonna be a good ass time. Hope you enjoyed. Give it the thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. All that good stuff, yada, 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 yada. Me and Chance will check in with y'all next time. Oh, give me one more. One, two, one, two, always on me. You must have been born with two right feet. I know you've been looking for something concrete. You must have been born with two right feet. Said one, two, one, two, always on me. I know you've been looking for something concrete. You must have been born with two right feet. You must have been born with two right feet.